How's it going? It's a good buddy. Thank you, yeah. It's a new Mustang, right? New Mustang, absolutely. SUV. Yes. How is it? It's my first time experiencing it uh, and it's it's pretty good. Nice. It looks good. Yeah, I think so. Thank you. It's a good price? It starts out, I think, like 43. So yeah, it, and then that's before the tax incentives. In California, you can get 10,000 off. Good luck. Thank you. All right, people are checking this car out. It is an awesome car. Welcome back to the Kilowatts. Today, we are here with the Ford Mustang Mach-E, Ford's first attempt at a real solid, all-electric SUV, and we couldn't be more excited. We've got early access today, and we can't wait to share it with you. Let's get started. I am here in Inglewood, California, driving the uh, Mustang Mach-E. I'm one of the first to drive it, and we are now in a rear-wheel drive Mustang Mach-E, giving it a chance here at this like autocross-style uh, cone setup, and I just switched the drive mode from uh, and well, it's, an, it's in unbridled uh, rear wheel drive with one pedal driving, so it should have more regen. This car is very fun to drive, it's very engaging. I feel myself dancing between the pedals. You know, it's got nice acceleration, it's not phenomenal, but it handles even these turns pretty well. A little bit of oversteer there with the rear wheel drive system. I'm a big fan. And that's it. On to uh, the Canyon Roads. All right, so we're early on the drive now and I just wanna share my thoughts on the comfort of the car. So overall, it's a very comfortable, quiet car. The suspension feels very good. Um, we're just driving through, you know, standard LA, uh, urban streets and there's potholes everywhere and it, the car just hits them smoothly quietly it's a very good suspension uh, as far as the interior comfort there's plenty of space i'm not a particularly tall person maybe 5'10 uh, but i've got plenty of vertical space um, the seats are pretty comfortable. The one thing I will comment on though, is that the bolstering is not the most sporty. I would like a little bit more uh, bolstering in the legs, uh, or at least the ability to kind of rotate that section up. Unfortunately, it just lifts the whole uh, seat. Uh, otherwise though, there's plenty of lumbar support, plenty of space. The steering wheel adjusts up and down to where you'd want it. Um, I'm a fan, but I, I would like some more bolstering in the front uh, of the uh, driver's seat. However, I have heard that the uh, GT and the GT performance will actually deliver on more bolstering. So I think a lot of people, you know, for standard city driving will be very happy with this setup. Now we're getting the full experience. This is the all wheel drive extended range version. It's got a really nice uh, little spirit to it. I really enjoy this. All right, so one thing you know I've got to try is their adaptive cruise control, their lane keep, their, their effective full self-driving system. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit lane keep as well as adaptive cruise control. And when the bubbles show up, I'm told that I can basically, there it is, there's my bubbles. So I can now just kind of loosely hold the wheel. Uh, the car is monitoring my eyes and trying to see where I'm looking. And that's one way that it will check to make sure that it's operating safely. And uh, I just have to keep my hands near and on the wheel uh, for now. But in the future, uh, the little eye tracking here will take care of that. And this is, this is exciting. I'm, I'm, as you can tell, hardly holding the steering wheel. Just pay attention to the road as it requires. I would like to see if it is capable of doing a lane change. So let's, let's go ahead and try that now. I indicated that I wanted to do, oh, oh, that, that's very interesting. That seemed to turn it off. There was no audible alert. They might want to improve that and we're going up into the canyon roads. I am so excited to really push this thing. I switched it to unbridled so we can really get the full experience. This car is quiet. It rides well, uh, the suspension is very smooth, and it rides quiet. Actually, this is the same road that I took with the uh, Mini Cooper, so I know these roads already. There's another one. One thing I really do like is that they weren't uh, over the top with that artificial noise. The, uh, the unbridled mode that I'm in now has a little bit of a rumble. Um, it's there, it's present, but it's not over the top. I've, ha I've had a lot of these uh, electric cars that have an artificial sound that it just seems like it's a bit much. This one, it seems like they uh, tuned it properly and uh, it's not a distraction and it does make you feel more connected to the road. 
the only thing I wish I had is just a little bit wider tires to get just a little bit more traction. But otherwise, you can really push this car. It, it's a very sporty SUV. I'm having so much fun. I will say, you don't feel the weight of this car. It doesn't feel heavy. It feels uh, almost like uh, like a more traditional SUV would, but you still got that low center of gravity and it just attacks the road. You know, for non-GT, this is doing exceptionally well. Ford did a really good job designing this car, making it look good and making it feel good. It's quiet on the inside. It drives well. It handles how you'd expect. Uh, I'm, I'm very happy about it and I can't wait to get my own. Um, this car, it just feels like they actually did go from a ground up uh, you know, design and uh, it's very intentional. You know, one of the biggest complaints I have with a lot of these other uh, EVs entering the market is that they are designed with the uh, same teams that design their uh, gas vehicles. And that's fine, you can absolutely have that. But the intentionality, the, you know, the, the consideration of how the actual end user will be using the product is often missed with some of these other companies. And I feel like Ford nailed it. You know, it's up to, at the end of the day, what experience you prefer. If you like uh, Tesla and kind of their minimalist design, or if you like, you know, having a knob uh, like it does here in the uh, Ford with the uh, touchscreen. So yeah, I'm a big fan of this and I think they are gonna sell very, very well. All right, so what are my final thoughts after my first experience driving the all-electric Mustang Mach-E? Uh, well, this is just one of the best all-electric vehicles coming to the market. Ford really did a good job considering most, if not all of the uh, parts of the electric vehicle experience and really doing their best to deliver on it. I still think there's a few things that they need to iron out. For example, the phone app uh, has a lock and unlock button, but it doesn't, uh, currently, at least when I experienced it, it didn't have a status indicator. It didn't tell you whether or not the car was already locked. So, you know, run through a scenario, you've got you know, a three hour flight somewhere. So at the start of this flight, you realize, oh shoot, I don't know whether or not I locked my car. By the time you get to land three hours later, you go ahead and lock your car, but you still need to you know, go ahead and call someone, maybe check to make sure that your car was safe during that time that no one you know, took your package from the trunk or something like that. And so I would love to see them implement something like that, as well as some more audible indicators for when their co-pilot system is on or off, just so that way you don't have to look down and check to make sure that it's turned on properly. Um, it's great that it notifies you right now when you turn it off, but uh, a better indicator for when you turn co-pilot on would be really helpful. But generally speaking, you know, the Mach-E drives really well, and I think a lot of people actually prefer it to the Tesla. Things like the uh, regenerative braking. Uh, the Ford Mach-E has a really nice, soft uh, kind of uh, uh, regenerative braking profile where the Tesla, even in its low, uh, is pretty aggressive. And I, I've, I've heard a lot of people that, especially uh, during their first week or so of ownership, uh, feel that that's too aggressive. And so I think that Ford has really designed a car that's meant to transition people from uh, internal combustion engine to electric. And I think they did an exceptional job with it. And for that reason, we're gonna get one here on this channel. Uh, we have, as you know, already a few uh, Teslas, and this will be our first non-Tesla vehicle in our fleet. We'll be renting it out on Turo, sharing it with the public, and we'll be making videos about it here. So if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.